Americans across the country and around the world. And we have got a tremendous guest with us today. Congresswoman Marjorie Taylor Greene is with us. She is the author of a brand new book, MTG. And for the book, you can go to mtgbook.com. And in her first book, Congresswoman Marjorie Taylor Greene reveals her personal account of the battles she fights in the halls of Congress and beyond. MTG shares the story of her incredible ascension from small town business owner to mega firebrand and it is my honor and privilege to chat with the incredible congresswoman green on the line here congresswoman welcome to the big program how are you my friend congresswoman can you hear us my friend yes yes, yes. thanks so much for having me on today well Tell us about this book, because it is an incredible read. I got a chance to, to read a little bit of it over the weekend. It is fascinating. Tell me a little bit about the book, Congresswoman. Oh, my gosh, that's great. I'm so glad you're reading it. Well, you know, the media created a character of me that just doesn't exist. If that's the character they sold to the country and to the world uh, named MTG. So I peel back the curtain and tell everybody exactly who I really am, what I think, and the policies I believe in. I tell a lot of personal stories in the book. Um, some are sad, some are funny, and some will make you really angry. Um, I talk about January 6th, my experience that day, which I think should be intriguing for people, especially now that 90 hours of the 44,000 hours have come out, and hopefully more will come out. Um, I also write about uh, COVID and, and serving on the COVID Select Committee uh, and, and what a travesty and, and really disservice the government did to America and Americans violating our freedoms during that time. Um, I also talk about a, a bill that's really important to me to end transgender surgeries on kids. And I even name a few names of Republicans that are in the way uh, that we need to get, get moving to be able to pass that bill. So. It's, it's a great read, and I, I really hope people enjoy it. The book is available, mtgbook.com. And Congresswoman Green joins us today here on the telephone. One of the chapters in the book that I absolutely love is Just Say No to Wars. Talk to us a little bit about this and uh, give, us, give us your thoughts on this. Yeah, that's, you know, I'm unapologetically American, and I truly believe that uh, our government has sold us out for too long, for decades now. They've, they've put every other country and their borders and their economies and their jobs ahead of ours, um, and I'm sick of the foreign wars, really sick of them, and I, I'm, I've always voted against the funding of the Ukraine war. I think America should be pushing for peace in that country not funding a war with Russia, which is extremely dangerous uh, to, for the entire world. Uh, and that's why I wrote that chapter. Um, you know, I think if we're, we're going to fight for any border, the only border we should be fighting for right now is the American border. I serve on the Homeland Security Committee, and I, I can't even tell you the horror stories that we hear day in and day out on that committee um, of, of what is really happening at our border. And with 1.8 million gotaways in the country, we have terrorists in our country. It's, it is that bad. We literally have terrorists in our country. Christopher Wray, uh, the FBI director that I'm not really a big fan of, came to our committee and told us that. Uh, sitting next to Secretary Mayorkas, um, who I had tried to impeach literally the day before, and unfortunately eight Republicans voted with the Democrats to protect his job. Um, so, you know, for me, it's America first uh, with no apologies, and, and I think Amer I think Washington, D.C. needs to come along with that. We have got a tremendous guest with us today. Marjorie Taylor Green is with us. MTGbook.com is the official website for this incredible book. Uh, Congresswoman, another chapter that you mention in this in this incredible book is what is the GOP doing? And I often wonder that on a daily basis. <laughs> <laughs> well, then that takes that's two of us, I'm sure, with millions of other people. Yes. Um, you know, the, I ran for Congress because I was really mad at Republicans. You know, the Democrats, we know exactly who they are. And, and what they want to do and what they do do. 
But it's Republicans that fail us because if Republicans actually follow through on what they promise and campaign on, well, the Democrats wouldn't be destroying our country. Uh, so, so, yeah, I think, I think uh, people will enjoy that chapter as well as my book. And I really hope they get a copy at mcgbook.com. So, Congresswoman, talk to us about the writing process. I always like to hear how how authors, especially folks such as yourself, because you are incredibly busy, uh, you 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 are busier than a fruit merchant, it seems. Uh, how 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 exactly did you have time to put this book together and talk to us about your writing process? Did you have an outline? Did you use notes? How exactly did this thing come together for you? Uh, I basically went chapter by chapter, and it took me a really long time because we are very busy in Congress, and the travel schedule is extremely grueling. Uh, so it was easy for me to go chapter by chapter, and then some, some chapters I had to stop and turn, you know, and I'd work on another chapter and then go back. And, and then others I, you know, as time went on, as I serve on the oversight committee with our impeachment inquiry, serving on Homeland, serving on the COVID committees. More information came, so I, so I went back and added as much information I could before the book got published. Um, so it was a process, uh, not always as organized as I like, but, it, but I really enjoyed it. We are talking with Congresswoman Marjorie Taylor Greene today. She is the author of MTG. The book is available at mtgbook.com. So I'm sure you've passed out uh, some preview copies and, and had some advanced copies go out to, to friends, family, colleagues, people like this. What are some of the advanced reviews for the book so far? People have been loving it. They are really enjoying reading it. Um, they, you know, they've been surprised by some of the stories I tell about in there, and I don't want to give them all away. Um, I, think, I think they've been surprised to find out, oh, you know, they told us she's an extremist. They told us that she's radical. They told us that she's crazy and all these, all these things. But people are finding out exactly who I am, and, and, and I'm really happy about that. It's time to let me define me and not, not the media. That's awesome. That's awesome. The book is available, mtgbook.com. Marjorie Taylor Greene with us today. She joins us live here on our big program, and the book is phenomenal. Uh, talk to us about what inspired you to write this book. Why, why, why did you decide that this needed to come out? Well, you know, I, I ran for Congress in 2020, and I entered into Washington as a brand-new member of Congress in January 2021, and uh, it was totally different than what I expected. Um, and, I'm, I, you know, I'm a regular person. I ran a successful construction business, um, raised three kids, and ran for Congress really wanting to make changes. And um, it's, it's a lot different there than people realize. It's a lot more difficult to make changes than people realize. And I just wanted people to have an inside look at what my experience has been so far, uh, as well as to, you know, straighten out the record, correct the record about me and, and, some he and many headlines. Uh, one crazy headline, like Jewish space lasers, uh, is one of the chapters I wrote because that was something they attributed to me, and I'd never said, I never even said that phrase. Um, so it was, it was really uh, interesting, and I enjoyed writing it, and I, I can't wait for people to read it. Congresswoman Marjorie Taylor Greene is with us today. She has got an incredible book. It is titled MTG, and you can get the brand new book. You need to go to M tgbook.com so what was the hardest part of putting this book together it was honestly having the time uh that was the the trickiest thing about it um you know we've been in session a lot and traveling back and forth to washington uh it was it was really finding the time to actually write it so that was that was the hard part um, I'm very glad it's written, and um, I just hope people can get a copy. It's a great stocking stuffer. Uh, it's a quick read. It, it doesn't take too, too long, and I think they'll, they'll find out that they have a lot of things they can relate to me on. So, Marjorie, do you have any advice for other writers who are in your position of writing their very first book? 
Well, I would say, you know, write as much as you can because you can always edit uh, and, and take parts out as you need to. Uh, that's, that can be the tricky part is putting enough content down. Um, and don't be afraid to, to, on your first go around, to just write exactly what you're thinking and feeling. I think that's what people want to read anyways. Um, and that's what I did. And it's, it's a fun process. I really think it's great. Uh, and, and as well as, you know, hearing back from people, getting feedback uh, after people read the book. But uh, this, this book, I think it's going to be a big hot seller. I know, I know it's flying off the shelves. Uh, pre-order already. It comes out tomorrow, and people have been getting their copies on mtgbook.com. I was very excited to work with Winning Teen Publishing. You know, they pu- published the president's book and his yep. letters. Yep. Uh, they've been wonderful for me to work with, so it, it's been a lot of fun. We have got Congresswoman Marjorie Taylor Greene with us today. She is the author of MTG. The book is available, mtgbook.com. So before we let you go, what books or authors influenced your writing uh, this book? Well, I wouldn't say any particular books or authors. That This was more about me telling my personal story. That's awesome. Um, and, and wanting to give more information behind the headlines they've read about me or, or maybe the news stories they've watched develop over the past couple of years. And so, um, yeah, I didn't have any particular inspiration. It was just uh, me telling my story, which I think is extremely important. And, and I... I think people are going to love it. That's awesome. Well, before I let you go, uh, you put up a tweet, I believe. I still call it tweets, but uh, a tweet about earlier today with the CDC and the FDA and this uh, this panel that you were a part of. Talk to us a little bit about this, because I, I loved the fact that, that you and several folks are grilling these folks. Yeah, so I served on the COVID Select Committee, and um, I got frustrated with my committee because they would not investigate the COVID vaccine. And so I organized this hearing and and brought in uh, some experts, Dr. Biss, uh, she's an OBGYN expert on women's issues, women that have been vaccinated. Um, Dr. Malone, he was fantastic, you know, one of the inventors of the mRNA technology. And we had a lot of questions uh, to ask, and so that was a great hearing. I've got more of these hearings coming because people really want to talk about the vaccines and side effects, and there's many people that have reported side effects and have reported family members' deaths due to the vaccines. And I think, I think America deserves those answers, and so I'm trying to do my part to help provide them um, outside of the COVID committee uh, that it unfortunately doesn't want to do hearings about the vaccines. Well, Congresswoman, it's been an honor and a privilege to chat with you. The book is available at mtgbook.com. Marjorie Taylor Green has been our guest today. Marjorie, have yourself a happy Thanksgiving, and I will talk to you soon. Thank you. Thank you. Happy Thanksgiving. Appreciate it, my friend. There she goes. That is Marjorie Taylor Green. She joins us today here on our big, big program.